All right, everyone, we are here with War 6 against DSVG. Today I will be taking in Warlock, Cosmic Ghost Rider, and Sorcerer Supreme. I have all of Path 9 in Section 1, sharing Path 7 in Section 2, and I have the boss with Sorcerer Supreme. We have a Red Skull boss. All right, so we have Void and then um, Havoc and then Bishop. So it's going to be Cosmic Ghost Rider, Warlock, and then Cosmic Ghost Rider again. You guys saw me take this Void on this node last war. This is a rank three instead of a rank four, but it's not going to matter as much. Um, actually, the rank four just didn't matter as much. Um, but game plan is to heavy judgment, medium ender judgment, or sorry, uh, light ender judgment, and then medium ender judgment into special two. And with cosmic power back boosts, we should be right back at special two. If not, we'll be pushed this special three from doing too much damage. I am half suicides here. So you are gonna see a recoil hit. I am the bleed. You do not wanna take this node with, <laughs> node with the poison up. Um, that's just asking for a lot of damage. Um, so there was the special two in here. We just baited out that heavy and then threw the next special two and down he goes within 30 seconds, no problem. So moving on, invulnerability boost on that first fight. So it's gonna last for the second fight, taking havoc here with Warlock. We are really just going to parry and re-parry as we wait for the poison phase of hazard shift to pop up. And then we are going to be aggressive during the poison phase. Um, if it doesn't work out that we can't drop special two because we're in the incinerate phase of it, then we will go ahead and push ourselves the special three and just use that. Uh, you don't really, I, you'll notice I did not tech boost here. It wasn't just to save cosmic boosts, but it was also um, because of uh, feats of indestructible. I think that's at least what it's called, but uh, he'll, gain a gain of, he'll gain an indestructible buff when, he, when I gain a bar of power. So. If I throw the special two and get uh, the power back, it's going to basically prevent all the damage of special two while that indestructible buff is up. So here it worked out to throw the special two during the poison phase. Um, we're trying to reparry sometimes here, uh, but during the incinerate phase, we don't always get the reparry. It's fine. The non-contact hits against Warlock's block cause him to degen and power drain. So it's perfect. Uh, for this counter and this node but working out fine you really do not want to take a heavy just in case you do have any plasma build up on yourself and then you start taking dot damage uh, that plasma build up dot damage does actually do damage even if you have an armor up it's the detonate you actually just avoid healing up cosmic ghost rider and going at this bishop the exact same fight as void you guys saw me take bishop on uh, node 47 last war which is a bit more complicated than this node because of kinetic transference but here we don't have to worry about that we are actually going to be able to do the full rotation before bishop gets to a bar of power so we won't end up having to block special two or eat it um, in this fight so same thing heavy judgment light ender judgment medium ender judgment into special two and cosmic boosts are going to put us right back at special two if not it'll overshoot us to special three still have suicides here as well um, it helped out for the warlock fight and there we go so we're at special two just waiting for the opening and we reparried there out of our block into special two down he went so easy section one for us All right, and then Domino here on Spite. Mysterio was on the next node, and it was in the plan for me to take it. Uh, I felt better taking it with a Petrify from Mr. Fantastic, but we didn't have one available. But we did have an S99 going this way with Anti-Venom to take the Mojo on node 47, so Mysterio ended up getting left for that S99. So just this Domino ended up being my only fight for Section 2. I'm going to take it with Warlock. We are in vulnerability boosting here and tech boosts. Uh, the game plan is to block and parry 
a lot so that her non-contact hit causes power drain. If she doesn't have willpower, um, then we're not going to benefit from that power drain while she's infected since she will be gaining power this entire fight from Spite. Um, I prefer for this fight to build to special three if she's willi willingly throwing special attacks instead of trying to cycle special twos. Now the tech boosts help you cycle special twos, but because of how often she's passing the threshold of a bar of power, she actually ends up lucky most of the fight. And what I would not want to happen is to throw a special two and she evade, and then I lose all the charges of my invulnerability boost and then end up eating special three attacks. So in my mind, it's just safer build the special three, can bait out special attacks great if not you know hit her as much as you can before she throws her special three and then lean on the invulnerability boost and then with our special three it's going to cause a big power drain so between that and doing some blocked hits uh, we should keep her power pretty low and avoid the risk of eating a special three so one special three and we're already well past 50 percent we're at pretty close to 25 percent in just a minute and 30 seconds. So here it's just being paying attention to evade there and being on our toes, knowing that a swing going in could cause the evade. So I only limit myself to one hit if I know I have an opening and she's lucky, and then I'm prepared to either dex or block immediately. And then down she goes nice and easy. All right, and then the last fight of my war ends up being this Red Skull boss. Not too sure what was going on here with this placement. I get that he's an unstoppable armor champ, um, and that can sometimes cause complications, but he's not immune to nullify, so he ends up being really easy for Sorcerer Supreme, especially when you start getting rolling with special two. Um, I have a theory that they did not ban Herc and hoped that we would try and strong arm a Herc here, but we do not play that game so <laughs> um source of supreme here usual game plan ps1 um we placed ingenuity so now we can immediately get the slow and i got very lucky there um for some reason that special one did not hit or land uh in retaliation of his heavy but it's fine we got to special three way too fast so we actually have to wait out resolve before we finally drop this special three, but luckily the AI here wants to play a little dancing game, so I didn't get cornered trying to wait for ingenuity. This will lock in our permanent slow, and this should end the war or the fight. Um, I'm gonna throw a special one a time or two. Right here it was just to get some power gain, but also because he was being stubborn and not throwing special one. The next time that I throw a special one was an accident. I thought I passed the threshold for special two. It's just being stubborn here, not wanting to throw special one. So this is actually going to end up pushing us into special threes, unstoppable there, and we don't have a slow up. Oh, no, it was after that. Um, but luckily we have that slow rune. That's the safety net of going to special three with ingenuity that any special attack is going to place a slow so we don't have to worry about unstoppable when we're throwing special attacks so maybe it was here yeah got pushed to another special three and then from here on it should be smooth sailing red skull actually gets a bit more aggressive and starts throwing his special ones immediately after getting knocked down which is good Maybe this is this one. No, nope. we're in special too. Building those armor breaks. Throwing these while we're in ferocity, which is great. That was this one. Very sustainable champ. I'm always happy with the fact that we can take blocked hits and regen. <laughs> And actually recover missing health through the fight and here he is being aggressive with those special ones here a couple big special two hits while well, we've got a bunch of armor breaks and this should be the last one and we're at full health so 
Easy solo. The war was pretty close. It was actually four to three, and we were winning on time. Um, so clutch that boss. We actually did not beat their BG. We didn't get our donut compared to their donut, but they ripped through our defense there. And we ended up winning this war on time. So it was four to four on, and it was a victory on time. So our second war winning on time. However, pretty happy with the first half of the season. Um, we are being pretty consistent at dying four or less per war, except for the one war against four Loki that we died seven times and one on time. But um, good season so far. Um, really my only worry is that we end up facing GT40 or JA again. Uh, and those are currently our only two losses out of our first six. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe, like, and share, and I will catch you guys at the next one.